Hard life. Some would say she's off to a better place. Hard life. Hard living more life. Yeah. <laughs> ah, but look at the beautiful cop she left behind. Ah, it was the plurus he got her in the end. Yeah. Expect many guests, Maisie. Ah, no. She didn't leave many friends behind her, Tommy. And we couldn't afford the O'KC mourners. Terribly expensive. Oh. Excuse me, gentlemen. Maybe I spoke too soon. Friends, indeed, you're only here for the drink. Ah, feck off you. She was an awful woman. No whore, if you ask me. Now, lads, this is Arthur, Kathleen's sister's son. Ah, oh, she was a lovely woman, son. A terrible day, son. We must end to love. Would you like a cup of tea, dear? What can I say, my auntie? Go ahead, son. She's only just asleep. Asleep with the Lord. Dead. She's dead, son. Dead. Tea. Oh, sure, I'll have one if there's one going, Maisie. There's that cake too, Maisie. Go on, go on, son. Let us out, Sheila. Can I have a minute alone with her? Just say goodbye. I want to whisper her a prayer so she can get to the Lord sooner. Come on. Let, let's leave the boy alone. You two can have me in the pantry. <laughs> we'll fix you a nice cup of tea, son. I'll only be a minute. to do it. That ornament Dr. Quint had us between a rock and a hard place. And now we can get near the cemeteries no more. He's threatening the law if we don't keep up the it. Who's got you by the bullocks then? Bastard. I'll drink to the end of him. <laughs> you know, I... Uh, he plays each corpse a tune on his fiddle before he gets stuck in. <laughs> <laughs> Several times, that's what I say. Speak of the devil. for my friends. It's very kind of you, boss. That's what friends are for, Willie. Wonderful catch last night, boys. But I must admit, I am curious as to why it was such a fresh and clean specimen. Ah, well, nothing too untoward, boss. I snatched it from a wake, so we did. 
Uh, one must be creative in these times. Advancing medicine is what you two are doing. History will be very kind, gentlemen, as will I. But I am afraid this is not a social visit. My practice is in dire need, gentlemen. Uh, well, the thing is, uh, things have been a bit slow lately, boss. What kind of weak fool are you as a perfect specimen? Stand right beside you. Why? He helps me out. He's earned his keep in this world. I need more corpses, and I need them now. I don't care where they come from. And if you two can't get them for me, I'll hire Murphy and his men, and I'll have two fresh corpses on my table by the end of the week! Why? Who'll be the death of us? Stiffed us with a bill, too. I have filth on you two. Enough to see you hang, drawn, and find it and fresher. Get rid of this stale thing and bring me something worthwhile. I need more corpses. More corpses. I need The stink of that corpse is almost as foul as the two of you. Get me fresh specimens immediately, or there will be trouble. So it was for years. Slaving away for Quint. Making sure he was happy. Meanwhile, we weren't making a penny. On the breadline, we were. A hard slog. One job, though. One job changed all that. One job turned us from body snatchers into ghouls. Ghouls? Ghouls. A body snatcher will steal the dead, but a ghoul will steal just about anything. Dead or other. Time was when a corpse didn't do much. Just laid there. Not so anymore. Well, I mean, surely to God, a corpse is a corpse is a corpse. What harm is one to anyone? Plenty, if it has a good mind to. I see. No, you don't. I think I do. Father, if I've learned anything over the years, it's that you never, ever trust a corpse. I had hoped to be here in these hills today. When I first heard that the Snatcher's crimes and blood had been reprimanded, I rushed here to meet with you. You've heard of us then? Oh, the reputation precedes you in certain circles. Occult circles? You've some knowledge of the occult then? Things that go in the night? Yes. Yes. When I first heard the stories, I thought they were the stuff of nonsense. But lately I've come to accept them, and I actively pursue the tellers. Unfortunately, my time with him is brief. In fact, you'd be dead right now if it wasn't for me. Is that so? Oh, yeah. I paid the executioner for our time together. Is this the first time you've paid someone to be alone with a man, Father? You're not looking too funny right now, Mr. Blake. Willie Grimes. Willie Grimes introduced you to the underbelly of the resurrection trade. Well, not so much as introduced me. More as stumbled upon it with me. Ronnie put us onto this job. Out on the moors it was. Out in the middle of nowhere. It took us ages to find it. But it was worth the effort. Right. It's ready. You can unearth the thing. I'm wrecked. You're getting old. I'm getting hungry. Oh, me too. I hate this. Back breaking work and all we ever are is famished and broke. If that rotten bastard Quint was a little less miserable, things might be different. We should do him in. Uh, he's too well connected. Besides, that's a mug's game. Still, I'm hungry enough. I can eat that corpse over there. Mm. <sighs> what do you got there? Sandwich. A what, witch? Sandwich. 
It's food. Food? It's two lumps of bread with something in the middle. It's genius. Ah, oh, it's queer. That's all right. You can put anything inside. What's in it? Uh, looks like... Like... Uh, looks like it tastes better than it looks. <laughs> How did you afford one? I nicked it. Arthur, what? I'll pay him back when I'm flush. <laughs> I fancy buying it. Give it to you. I tell you what, I'll share it with you for a few glugs of your whiskey. Done. Bloody hell! <laughs> you were hungry. You're not having any of mine. Mmm. Uh, uh, uh. ah. <laughs> what I don't get is why they buried a corpse outside of a graveyard. Suicide, most likely. Idiot clergy probably excommunicated them so there was nowhere else to bury them. Why at a crossroads? Gobshite superstition. So as if the spirit rises, you'll not know which way is which and wander about the place lost. Which way is which? Which some which is what? All right, get at it. <laughs> Come on. All right, you moody so-and-so. Right. <laughs> really? What? Perfectly good piece. What's that? Around the neck. That's, uh, that's garlic. Ronnie's got that stuff all over the, uh, the porch in the war. Keep things away from the place. Garlic. Stinky. Don't do that. That's there for a reason. Gobshite superstition, Willie. Who would do a thing like that? I don't know, but I'm glad they did. This piece will put us in good standing with Quinn. Pull it out. No way, mate. I dare you. No way, I say. You're out of your head. You all right? 